first one is called logs. Logs, aged and weathered, rise up through the water's surface, like rows of soldiers poised with purpose. To what did they once give their service? A dock? A pier? Whichever, they have long been relieved of their duty. The only resistance to be met, an occasional rolling wave, though more like a friendly greeting, sent from a boat to a distant speeding. A reminder that things continue to happen, that time is still passing. Further down the bouldered meeting of land and river, another platoon rests anchored to a point where they can hear history whispering, they still have meaning. Now there is the latest generation of endless seas, beckoned by duty from their lives as trees. They are younger and thinner than their predecessors, and in larger quantity. They stand beneath a slab of cement, its dependence hefty on their innocent shoulders like a nation's freedom. The veteran stumps know how this all ends, know the result of change that crashes and splits open against rocks, yet eats away at them. The ripples of water are inconsistent and lazy, but devouring nonetheless. These logs were not designed for marine siege, unlike the coarse rubble ancient in its resolve. They are just wood, just glorified shrubs built to dissolve. Too afraid to venture from this point where they can hear history whispering they still have meaning. A few logs remain adamant, with pieces of rebar sticking out from inside of them, stubbornly sweeping mist over the current so it's an apparition of a ship, while others have accepted their fate, allowing the flow of progress to birth tiny newborn branches that wave shy and bright-eyed at the shore. Branches with leaves the same color of orange as the lights that speckle a multi-level parking garage, stretching along the coast of this new, new west. Like the tide that seeds to nothing, save eternity, that my love. 